Hello, my name is Elizabeth Bueller. Uh, for those that don't know me, I'm the Salt Lake City Civic Engagement Manager. And we just wanted to come and update you on the Homeless Resource Center pro process. I know the last time we were officially here was in January for our workshops, and you haven't really heard a lot from us since. Most of the news you've been getting was first in the spring from the county's, process, the county's engagement process, and then in news reports, things like that. So there has been a lot of work that's been happening behind the scenes, and we just sort of wanted to update you on it. Uh, David Litvak, the mayor's deputy chief of staff, is here to talk to you about the services uh, overall and what's happening with Shelter the Homeless, Salt Lake County, State of Utah, all that coordination. And we would also like to introduce Jill Jones, uh, architect who's been selected by Shelter the Homeless to start designing these homeless resource centers. So, and then I'm going to talk to you about some of the engagement that's going to be coming up. So I'm going to turn it over to David. I'm going to be relatively quick. I did have an opportunity to come and uh, talk to the, the community council after the legislative session and provide an update in terms of all that happened uh, during the legislature. But since then, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, and the primary focus of today is really to allow Jill to, to introduce herself and talk about the design process that is underway. But I want to give some context to that as well. Uh, so uh, AJC, the architect, was selected through a competitive bid process that the city uh, began initially to engage in uh, in December. Uh, and then as we uh, we being city, county, and state, and, and shelter the homeless, as we transition um, the properties uh, and the building and construction of the project to, to the owner of the facility, which will be shelter the homeless, um, they, are contract they will be the ones that are actually contracting with AJC. And AJC will be designing uh, all three uh, facilities, the two in Salt Lake City and the one in South Salt Lake. So since the last time I was here post-legislative session, a lot of the focus on, on getting the design process going, uh, as well as building up Shelter the Homeless. As many of you have heard me say before, uh, Shelter the Homeless as an organization has been around for a long time. They are the current property owners of several facilities within Salt Lake County, the downtown shelter, uh, the uh, Midvale Family and uh, Women with Children uh, Shelter, Family with Children Shelter, as well as um, uh, Palmer Court. Uh, they are the property owner. But for many years, even as the property owner, it kind of in many ways was just a holding company. They met on a quarterly basis, kind of uh, 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 real quick overview of things. So as we transition uh, to, the, to the new service model and the new resource centers, part of that transition is building up shelter the homeless into a uh, more accountable uh, and more fruitful organization. Uh, so for the first time, they have an executive director. Right now, there is a temporary executive director, Janelle Flukiger, from uh, Salt Lake County. Uh, but they are beginning a national search for a full-time executive director. Janelle will be executive director uh, up until uh, January, um, which, of which the county is, is paying for. Um, and the board has been uh, reconfigured as well and restructured uh, and meet much more regularly. So a lot of the focus since the legislative session has been on getting the design process going uh, and creating, uh, really creating this organization. So I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to turn the time over to Jill to really talk about the design process. Thanks, David. You're welcome. As David mentioned, my name is Jill Jones. I'm the principal architect <clears throat> with AJC Architects. I don't know if any of you know who we are, but we are here in Salt Lake. Our office is in Sugar House. We're right on the corner, for those of you who have been here forever, where Bike Board and Blade used to be. There you go. It's that anonymous building that everyone wonders if any, is anybody in that building? That's our building. Um, we have done quite a bit of work uh, in the community. First off, just to tell you a little bit about AJC, we did the entire YWCA campus. So there are two um, women's shelter as well as their center for families. I've been working personally with the YWCA since 1991. I'm very proud of that campus. We've done quite a bit of work for the city. We did the Leonardo over there. Um, we did Tracy Aviary's Visitor Center. We've been working for Volunteers of America. We did their first Women's Detox Center. So first off, we're very honored and excited to be part of this project. These projects, as David mentioned, we're going to be working on all three of the homeless uh, resource centers. We also have a partner uh, with us for this specific type of building facility. There's a firm out of Portland Holst, H-O-L-S-T, architecture, um, specifically a gentleman by the name of Dave Otte, who has done quite a bit with homelessness and those 
uh, type of supportive buildings in the Portland area. And he is a consultant to us. He has been working very closely with us, again, to, to kind of just get some more insight and some more input into what type of uh, facilities and what type of function and spaces should be in these buildings. Um, that being said, we have been, we were selected back in February and we have been kind of ramping up to get started. And for the past maybe five or six weeks, we've been doing what's called programming. So the design process has started and it will go through April of 2018. And then we will be in construction from April of 2018 through April of 2019. And if the design process is this long, we're in this very early stage that's called programming. We haven't designed any buildings or any floor plans yet. All we're doing in programming is identifying the type of functions and spaces that should be going into these buildings. And over the past four or five or six weeks, we have probably met with over 100 people. Uh, we have what's called a, a SAC committee, SAC, which is our stakeholder advisory committee, council, group. Um, and that's made up of almost, I think there's almost 65 people on, on that committee. I know Derek Kitchen has attended um, several of those meetings. We're also looking for a member of the community council here to attend the meetings. And what we're trying to do is to get input from, from actual clients, actual homeless clients, from resource people who are going to be potentially providing programs within the space, from police, um, from local communities, from just absolutely anyone we can gather thoughts, information, trying to answer questions, again, architectural questions, because we're in charge of the building and the building design, and really come up with kind of what type of spaces we want and functions into these buildings. So obviously for this community, the focus is on the 700 South site. Um, that site has been designated as a women's homeless resource center, and there are slightly different um, needs and functions for between the three different facility. The women's facility will be for 200 beds is what the program calls for right now. And we will be transitioning next week from this programming effort into schematic design. And then schematic design, again, if this is our, if this is our kind of chunk of work that we need to do and programming is this big, schematic is this big. So you'll be seeing us again during schematic design. We're going to be bringing um, ideas and site plan options and floor plan options and what the building's going to look like. And then that moves into about halfway through the process, which is called design development. And when we get into design development, we get a little bit more into the details. And then you won't be seeing us as, as much in construction documents because that's when we really just kind of put together what you would call the blueprints or the actual working documents to build the building. Um, but that's our process. And I know um, we've been working very closely with Liz in Salt Lake City to go through um, a very strategic and thoughtful public engagement process. We're not only going to be meeting with you as a community council, but we're going to be meeting with the 700 South community at large and actually anyone who's at all interested in these homeless resource centers to keep the dialogue open, um, keep what we're working on very public and visual and try to provide as much response as we can to the community at large. You, you can imagine what that challenge is going to be because this gentleman's going to want something blue and this gentleman's going to want something green and we're going to try to figure out what the best solution is. So our responsibility is to, to listen We've got Steve and um, Deanna here also on my staff, several of the people that will be working on this project, taking copious notes and trying to incorporate as much positive and successful ideas that the community can give us into this design to make it a su successful design for the community. And that's, that's really our role. I'm, I personally um, have been tracking this project. I think I've been stalking David um, for the past two years because it's a very important project to me personally as far as serving the homeless, but also I feel that we're the right firm that can really serve the community and the communities that these buildings are going into. So we're excited to be here, and I know you probably have a lot of questions. Liz is going to talk about public engagement. I don't know if you want to do that first, and then we can, we can start right now with some questions. Thank you. I just want to give a, expand a little bit on what Jill said. Um, as she mentioned, her team has been working really hard on the programming, and now they're about to move into schematic design. And we really appreciate all the time you guys have already put into this project from starting, well, even before last year. But like last year, talking about the success criteria on what these centers should look like, 
through what was going on in January to today. So, but we are going to ask you if, if you're willing to come out at least at minimum one more time. Because when Jill's ready for schematic design, that, that's when we want to get your input to make sure everything you've told us in the past has been included in the design and the programming and also if there's anything else that we should think about as, as we're moving into the design. So this is sort of just an introduction to let you know what's coming up. September 18th at the Grand Theater at Salt Lake Community College starting at 6 o'clock. We are doing a public forum. It is not an open house like it was previously. This is going to be a presentation on the programming and design, talking about the services, talking about the larger model. We'd love for you guys to attend. There will also be a Q&A with leaders in this process, so we can go beyond the, the, the buildings themselves and these specific HRCs, asking questions about the system, all of that, making sure that we're following what you've been telling us for two years. Also, we are planning on-site open houses for that week and the following week. And I apologize, I don't have the dates yet, but I'll work with Michael to make sure you guys know about it. But what it is, this is specifically for y'all, for residents of the community, for the businesses surrounding these future centers to talk, get really into the meat of the HRCs, the design, the programming. So it's a more intimate, specifically designed for you guys. We're also meeting with clients of services to make sure we're including in the programming things that they need so they can be successful, hopefully transitioning out of homelessness. As always, we're going to have our online presence as we always do. So we know some people can't make our meetings. We understand that. So we'll have that opportunity online to comment on the schematic design. Same time, we're working with South Salt Lake. They have their own process for their center on how they're going to be engaging the public. Also, City Council, as most of you know, they're, they're going through on their parallel track for the changes on the conditional use for homeless resource centers. So you know, I, I don't have the final dates, but that's happening at the same time. So at the end of this month, they should be having a work session to discuss those changes to the conditional use and then do the public hearings and potential action September, October. In those conditional use changes, I know it's been a while since you've seen them, probably not since Planning Commission heard them in the spring, but that includes those things like the uh, making sure that it meets uh, crime prevention and safety standards, having the neighborhood advisory committee, all sorts of those things. So just so you know, that's also happening. And we, when we have more information, we're going to be sharing information back and forth on what they're doing and what we're doing, because we're bringing those processes back together. The homeless resource centers in Salt Lake will have to go through the conditional use process. So there will, once council makes those changes, it will go through our process. Because of state law, it might, frankly, state law, we have to get to yes, but we go through that process. So we make sure there's that, still that opportunity for the individual centers to make sure that changes the community wants, we can include them in those centers. So that's really all we have. We appreciate the time, but in September 18th is the big public forum. And when we know the date for the on-site open house, I'll let Michael know.